channel. If you're new here, I'm Shay. I am a reseller on the Poshmark app, and I like to upload thrift hauls. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of those. I have a part two today of a huge thrift haul from the Buy the Pound Goodwill bins. And so the first one, if you missed it, it will be linked down below. And this one is going to be our bottoms and my um, skirts because the first haul was tops and dresses. So, and I will have a part three, which will be shoes and accessories. So, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. This is a made in India pair of elephant pants. They're like the harem style. Really lightweight, beautiful cotton. And they're gorgeous. They have elephants all over them. How can you not love these? And they have cute little side pockets. And then the top is very, very stretchy. It has that like smock detail, so they're really flattering. Um, I would probably put these in the category of a size small, just to be on the safe side. Next I have this new with tags pair of overall shorts. These are a 2X. These are from um, Target. But I did grab them because these, this is a really popular style, and also it was new with tags, so that's going to annoy me. Ah! Let me just fix this, because now I have, to, I have to fix it. Okay, there we go. So, um, very cute. Just a little bit of distressing on the front here with the frayed hems, and then this is what the back looks like. Very, very cute. I love having stuff like this in my closet, especially in bigger sizes. I do a lot of bohemian stuff, and it's harder to find um, larger sizes for the bohemian clothing, surprisingly, so I, when I see it, I pick it up. So next I have this really cute pair of shorts. This is by Gypsy and Vagabond, which I think is sold at Nordstrom. It's a size medium, and they are just a really cute pair of, um, I don't know what you would call this print. Maybe like a scarf print, um, scarf print shorts. And that's what the back looks like there. And they're just drawstring. They're nice and stretchy. Really good for when it's hot and you want to have something on that's not very, like, sticky. So, um, next is a vintage skirt. This is by uh, Carol Little. It's a size large. Again, this is really bohemian. Um, just a really cool tiered skirt. It's very, like, prairie style. Very, um, very free people. <laughs> and that's what the back looks like there. And it does have this pretty, like, multi-texture. It has, like, lace and satin, um, more of a crinkled satin, and then it has some velvet. And it is a maxi style, and um, maxi styles are really popular, and they're going to continue to get more popular for the uh, warmer weather that hopefully is coming soon. It's snowing here, and I'm freezing. So hopefully it's coming soon. Warm thoughts, guys. Uh, next, I have this pair of vintage Levi's. These are 550s. They are a size 4 short. They are um, an 80s, 90s pair. They are a um, really high rise. They do have distressing. There's some distressing on the inside here and along the front here. Uh, but they are a legitimate straight leg pair of jeans. And they're a nice light wash. So I will just disclose that stuff in the listing. Sorry, my throat is just so dry. Next I have this cute pair of current Elliott shorts. These are sold at Anthropology. And they are a size 0 or a 23, I guess, in their sizing. Um, but I picked them up because they were really cute. They have this uh, sort of tie-dye green, like a sage green and cream color. So I thought those would be good for somebody. Next, I have American Eagle High Rise Shorty Shorts. These are a size 8. Nice maroon color, very stretchy. Um, I do love American Eagle Shorts. They're very comfortable. Then I have... Some Lucky Brand jeans. These are the Brooks Skinny. These are also a size 0 or 25. Um, I think Lucky Brand runs slightly big, though. Uh, they do seem like they have a long um, inseam. They seem very, like, tall. Uh, this is probably just me, though, because I'm only, like, 5'1". But just a nice classic pair of jeans. I know I said this in the last part, but I don't always pick up Lucky Brand. It just depends on um, what the item is. Sometimes, like, the newer stuff I will pick up still. So I did grab those, but next I have this pair of Air Apostle shorts. I don't usually pick this brand up either, but these are really cute. They're a high-waisted shorty, and they are a size 6. They have really cute embroidery across the front, and then the back looks like that, and they are sort of like a wash black. The only downside is the embroidery is over the pockets, so you can't actually use the front pockets, which kind of stinks. But <laughs> other than that, they're very cute. <laughs> next I have a couple of skirts. These are also really small sizes. This is a PacSun skirt. This is size 24. 
and it is 100% cotton. That's what the back looks like there. And then I have another denim skirt. This one's by um, Abercrombie & Fitch. This one is also a size 0 or 25. This one is a little bit of a lighter wash. It looks more like a vintage one. And it does have distressing, which I really like. If this was my size, I probably would have kept it. Then I have some Lulu legging pants. Or Lulu legging. Lululemon pants or leggings. These were a size 4 on the size dot. I'm not sure what the style is for these, but they do have this like ruched block detail going down the legs. Um, and they're in really excellent condition. There's a tiny bit of pilling on the inside of the legs, but other than that, they're like almost new condition. So I was really excited to find those. I don't find Lululemon too, too much. We have a couple of ladies where I go to the bins that like fiend after them so I don't usually get to that because I am very like passive with the buy the pound bins so um, when I find it it's very exciting next I have this American Eagle pair of jeans these are a really cute style these are the boho artist these ones are a size 8 and they're super stretchy they have the um, button fly exposed button fly which is really cute and they are a flare so this is ticking like so many boxes for stuff that's trending right now. I am so sad that these are too big for me. I really, really want a pair of these and I've begun like hunting for like this exact pair, <laughs> but in my size. So any other resellers out there, if you got these, let me know, leave a comment because I will buy them from you. <laughs> but I always pick up American Eagle. They're really good sellers. They're a steady seller for me. So next I have a pair of Free People shorts. These are a size uh, two. They are 26, I think, is their other alternate sizing. They're just a nice, um, I think they're cotton blend pair of sort of like smoky bluish gray uh, utility style shorts. My ah, utility shorts. Um, just really good staple for the warm weather that I'm wishing we had. Another pair of jeans. This is a pair of Hudson jeans. They are a size Natalie, or a size 26. They're a Natalie super skinny style, and they have been cropped. These are a really great medium wash denim. And that's what the bottoms look like there, just the fray hem. And then that's what the front looks like, or the back looks like, the front to me. I don't know what I'm saying. Send help. A couple more things. I have like only shorts left because I'm like really apparently picking up a lot of shorts. These are a mom short. These are American Eagle. They're size 12 and they're 100% cotton. They are a longer sort of denim. Um, short. They have distressing and that's what the back looks like there. These are like super duper 90s. They're like super super light. They're almost a white. So I grabbed those. Another pair of American Eagle shorts. These are just the shorties. Excuse my phone. Um, these are size 14 and these are lighter wash as well. These are also high rise. That's what the back looks like with distressing. Oh these ones I didn't even notice. These ones have a cute little like lace insert in the pocket. I didn't even see that. So, um, very cute. Next, another pair of Free People shorts. These are 26. These ones have the button fly, which I really like. And they are a lighter wash. They do have a couple of, like, slightly discolored spots. I'm undecided whether or not that they came that way as, like, distressing or what. But they're really vintage looking, and I really, really wish they were my size. Gotta, I'm almost there. I gotta go, like, one size up, and then it'd be my size. <laughs> Then I have a Free People skirt. It is like a faux suede, and it um, just looks like that in the front. It has like this sort of wrap detail, and then the back looks like that. A nice olive green color. I might bring that one to Play-Doh's. I'm not sure yet. Then I have this really cute um, pair of shorts. These are American Eagle. These are an extra, extra small. Um, they're just really cute little stretchy shorts. And then that's what the back looks like there. And they have that like... Um, I think it's called a dolman like little piece here it kind of like opens up on the side a little bit so but I think it's a faux one so it is really cute though and last but not least for this portion of the haul I have one more pair of American Eagle jeans I like apparently found a lot of their stuff this time um, these are the kick boot these are a size zero um, short so I again these I picked them up hoping they were gonna fit me for some reason um, and they are just a nice like um, they're a mix between like a boot cut and a flare they're a little bit bigger than a boot cut on the bottom really really flattering and that's what the back looks like there um, these styles particularly um, sell really well the kick boot they always have in stock that that's a cut they don't ever 
sorry phone, they don't ever um, take out of style, but this is the new tag. These are from 2018, so these are actually really recent. So always keep a lookout for that when you're shopping for American Eagle. Um, what I do is I like to go into the mall and sort of peruse around every once in a while just to keep updated on what the new tags look like. It's very helpful if you're a reseller. Um, so, but that's going to be it for this portion of the haul. I do have one more section that I'm going to be filming, and it's going to be um, my shoes and my accessories. So go ahead and look in the description box down below, and I will have it linked for you guys. So, and if you saw anything that you guys wanted to buy, uh, don't forget my link for my Poshmark is down there as well. See you guys next time. Bye.